Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to tell you the answers for the questions I asked in the previous video. So let's start. If you see the dimension for impulse, what is the formula of impulse? The formula of impulse is force into time. So force into time, right? Now what is the dimension of force? Mass into acceleration. That will be the formula and the dimension is mass. And for acceleration, it is LT minus 2 and simply you write time. Now this becomes m l t minus 1, right? This is the dimension of impulse. For light here, if you see light here is a unit of distance. So it becomes m0 l t0 or simply you can write it as l. Okay. Now if you see coefficient of viscosity, this is based on Stokes law. If you see Stokes has given a formula and the formula is f is equal to 6 pi eta r v. Now in this f is force force has a dimension 6 pi this is a constant it does not have any dimension eta is the coefficient of viscosity r is the radius and v is the velocity okay so we have to find eta so eta is equal to f by r v m l t minus 2 is for force divided by radius has dimension l velocity has a dimension l t minus 1 now you cancel l what will be left out m l minus 1 T minus 1 this is the dimension of coefficient of viscosity or eta which is represented by eta what is eta this symbol is eta I've written here right you see okay so now Planck's constant if you see there is a formula lambda is equal to h by mv where h is the Planck's constant lambda is wavelength so it has a dimension l m is mass it has dimension m v is velocity lt minus 1 simply we have to write h is equal to lambda into m into v so it is L M L T minus 1 it becomes M L square T minus 1 this is the dimension of Planck's constant let's go to solar constant this is going to be very interesting so you just need to know the formula for solar constant it is power by area that's it so how do you write power power is energy by time again by area so it becomes energy by time into area right so what is the dimension for energy M L square T minus 2 by time into area l square right now it becomes m l power 4 t power minus 3 this is the dimension for solar constant so, so it is so simple actually if you see you have to just know this that solar constant means power by area that's it you can solve it and now angular momentum when you come to angular momentum it is represented by the letter l and it is equal to r into p where r is the radius and p is the momentum right so L into momentum is mass into velocity. So mass into velocity L T minus 1. It becomes M L square T minus 1. Now here I have to tell you something very important. You see Planck's constant and angular momentum have the same dimensions. Both have M L square T minus 1. So in the exam suddenly you don't know what is the dimension for angular momentum. You can't remember this formula. Then what you can do is you can just uh, remember now that Planck's constant and angular momentum have the same dimension. Let me find Planck's constant and that will also be the dimension of angular momentum. So simple, right? Like this, you have to find tricks, okay? Similarly, in last class, I told you that torque, all forms of energy, heat, work done, all have the same dimension. It is ml square t minus 2. Remember this? Now, frequency. Frequency is 1 by time. So it is time inverse. This is the dimension of frequency. So simple, right? Now, here you come to internal energy. What is internal energy? You need not even know that. You know that energy, work done, torque and heat or calorie, anything has the same dimension ml square t minus 2. That's it. Kinetic energy, potential energy, spring energy, whatever or internal energy, everything has the same dimension ml square t minus 2. Let's go to Boltzmann constant. Boltzmann constant, if you see, it is represented by the letter k, small k and the dimension, if you have to find, you need to know the formula. The formula is heat by temperature, heat by temperature. Now, if you see heat, heat is simply ml square t minus 2, right? Heat, energy, work done, torque, okay? And also temperature you represented by Kelvin, okay? So, it becomes ml square t minus 2 and k minus 1. This is the dimension of Boltzmann constant. So simple. What is the dimension for solar constant? How do you remember? It is power by area. Similarly, for Boltzmann constant, k is equal to heat by temperature. That's it. Now, L by R. This is very interesting. You need not really find out the dimension of inductance or resistance you just need to know the formula of inductance and the formula of resistance and simply the terms get cancelled and the dimension becomes very easy to find so if you see l has a formula inductance is equal to v by dr by dt 
v is not velocity v is potential difference or volt right now r is equal to v by i we know ohm's law right what is ohm's law v is equal to i into r from this we get r is equal to v by i now simply just you have to cancel l by r right so this you can also write it like v by i by i into t so because the t is down it goes up right it is over here it goes up and so l by r this is equal to l v by i into t now what is r r is v by i v by i v v gets cancelled i i gets cancelled finally you are left with t so the dimension of l by r is t now if you really want to find out the dimension of inductance find out the dimension of resistance and finally find out for l by r it will take time right it will take some time so but even if you want in the beginning stages if you want to solve i'll tell you you can solve with this formula and this formula now the dimension of v if you see v is equal to work done work done by charge what is work done work done is simply energy right mn square t minus 2 same dimension by charge q is equal to a into t a is for a means ampere right a into t so you can just solve from this so guys i hope you like the video do like the video share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching